Hey lovelies, it's your girl Chanel and today in this video I'm going to demonstrate how I apply each edge control and also um, explain to you what I like about them, the price ranges, etc. so that you guys can kind of determine what may work for your hair and what you actually do want to try out to see if it does work in your hair. Now, um, before I jump into the video, I do want to let you guys know that it took me two years to find a product that my hair actually got laid for. And like, it got to the point where like I gave up, like I, I just accepted my hair will never get laid at the edges. But um, I found something here, I'm so happy. And you guys have been commenting on my Instagram post about what products I've been using, and even in my last video, what products I've been using. So I decided I'd come to you guys and share with you what it is that I've been using in my hair to get my edges laid lately. I hope you guys enjoy this video and make sure that you guys subscribe right away so you guys can stay updated with my videos that I'm going to be posting every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday now. And comment below and let me know what edge control you use on your edges um, that actually work for you. And let me know also which ones you've tried that doesn't work for you. Like I know your product junkieism may come out. But it's all good, boo, boo We've all been there. <laughs> um, and along with that comment, let me know what your hair type is. Because again, I'm not saying that because we all have the same hair type, it will work in our hair. But it's just interesting to see what products do work in each other's hair and what products don't work in each other's hair. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, let's jump right into it. So the first product I'm going to speak about is this Crema Nature with Argan Oil from Morocco. Um, now, this was the first product that I've ever used that has actually laid down my edges. And I think I discovered this about um, seven months ago, sometime last year. Uh, what I did, I applied it to my edges using a toothbrush and uh, I tied it down overnight. And when I say my edges were laid, now I wasn't getting like that swoop de doo look and it wasn't looking like freshly laid, but it was looking laid. Like my edges were perfectly clean, everything. And um, I also found that this didn't leave any really like product, product residue in my hair and I was just really happy with the results. However, what I wanted was something to get my edges laid right away. As realistic, unrealistic as, as that sounds, I was able to find something. Okay, I will get to that eventually. I will get to that by the end of this video. Um, but this um, Cream Nature with Argan Oil definitely did help lay my edges, but I definitely had to tie my hair down, not for five minutes, not for 10 minutes, for the whole damn time I was sleeping. Um, so overnight and my edges were laid the next day. Um, is there anything else I can think about? This product actually costs about three something at my beauty supply store and I live out in Canada for those of you that don't know. And I really like the consistency. Again, it doesn't leave residue, it doesn't leave flakes in my hair. It smells good and um, you don't need to use a lot of this product. A little bit goes a long way. So it's really, really cheap for the price that it's at and for how long it really does last. Um, but this is definitely a product that I would recommend. Uh, another thing that people have tried to tell me is that you could add water to your edges first before applying any of these edge controls and it will work. What I find is that my hair just curls up and it just um, like reverts anything else that I apply to it after in terms of edge controls. So the next one that I want to talk about is this Olive Oil Edge Control Superior Hold and Shine. This was the first edge control that I actually tried after I tried out the gels. The gels don't work in my hair, period, if you guys want a video on that. Um, as an explanation as to why it doesn't work in my hair, comment below and let me know. Um, but this definitely did not work in my hair at all. It has uh, somewhat of a similar consistency as the previous product that I just showed you. Um, however, what I did find with this product, it didn't allow my edges to lay. However, I tried it for this video specifically and it laid the, a bit at my um, the side, like a bit of my baby hairs. But if I wanted to do like all my baby hairs, it will not lay it down fully. Um, this product was also between three to five dollars. Um, it did leave residue in my hair and when I wanted to reapply it again like let's say the next day it would leave like a bit of like white flakes which is something that I didn't like um, it smells good though uh, but yeah this definitely was a no-go for me I used it about once or twice a few times and it just never ever worked even when I did tie down my hair the next product I want to talk about here is this 
Gorilla Snot. Gorilla Snot Gel. Now, this is not an edge control, it is actually a gel. It's really, really gooey. You guys can see there, it's really gooey. Um, this yellow one, make sure if you guys are getting the Gorilla Snot, get the 10 hole. This one is the strongest hole. Um, it's actually, it was $3.99 at my beauty supply store. You don't have to use a lot of it, but it's, as you can see, it's a big, a very large bottle. Um, it's about 270 grams, which is 9.52 ounces. Um, again, it lasts a long time. And when I had my lace front on and like a weave done, this is what um, the stylist used in my hair um, at my edges, and it stayed laid. One side was laid, and the other side wasn't really laid. But this is another product that I have found that my hair really does like. It lasts for a couple of hours, and then it just kind of goes away, um, regardless if I sweat it out or not. Uh, but this is definitely a product that you can use. Another thing that I don't like about this though is that if you apply it the next day, I find that it does build up and then it does get a bit flaky on your edges. So it could be a bit too heavy and build up just isn't cute. So this is why I didn't just stop at this product and I kept continuing looking for other products um, that will help get my edges laid. Um, and finally, for my holy grail um, edge control, the Hicks Edges. Now, this bottle, guess how much it costs? I'm gonna give you a second. This bottle, $50.99. $50.99 for, let's see, a four ounce bottle, okay? So this is one ounce larger than this one, and it's triple the price. No, more than triple the price. It's like quadruple the price, actually. Like, are they rude? But I will buy it again. I really love this product. The first time I used it, it honestly had my edges looking wavy, my actual front of my hair, because I didn't want to apply it to my baby hairs. It was wavy and smooth. Like, everybody was asking me what I've been using in my hair. And honestly, this is my go-to thing. It is quite, quite costly, like 16 bucks, but it's worth it. It does the job. It doesn't leave residue in my hair. Um, I can apply it day after day and it still doesn't build up. It's clear, so it doesn't leave a color in my hair. It doesn't mix in with my makeup. It's just great. And it has like a sticky consistency similar to the um, Argan Oil Edge Control, Perfect Edges. So I really, really love this product. It's my holy grail product. I recommend that you guys go ahead and try it. If you could get a sample, do that instead of spending your $16 on this bottle. Um, if Because it may not work for you, but for my 4C edges that never, ever, ever get laid, like boo-boo, that's the truth. And that's what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed that kind of episode of comparison comparing um, products. If you guys have any recommendations, please leave them below in terms of what kind of products you'd like me to do a review on or compare. And please let me know what your favorite edge control is or what you use to lay your edges. Because honestly, like for us ladies, some of us, it's been a serious struggle. Now, I, I do want to be I do want to let you guys know that I don't always lay my edges. Like, I would choose not to lay my edges many days over actually laying my edges. But now that I have found this product, I do lay my edges more often, I'm not gonna lie. But it's not a necessity for me. And I feel like just because over the years, I have never found a product that actually laid my edges, um, I got comfortable to using, to having those frayed edges, non laid edges. But um, that's the truth, like, that, that's the secret. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Remember to share this video with people who you feel may suffer from the same issue that we've been suffering through, um, not being able to lay our edges. Comment below, and also, I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'll be posting every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday now, right? So I'll see you guys next time.